it's really nice to step outside and it not be wet. It's like the first time in two weeks that I've gotten up in the morning and there's no water everywhere. We are going over to the other house this morning to mow, do some yard work for a little bit. So maybe I'll give you guys a little update on the cows today. And Toffee and Tutu are supposed to be picked up today, but I know she wasn't 100% sure if they were gonna make it today or not. They had a farrier coming out to trim hooves for everybody, so we'll see. But we are gonna go do that this morning and then be here this afternoon. So let's get these boogers fed. Are you guys ready for breakfast? What do you, tiny goat? She's so funny. She's gotten so spunky. It's all the personality these days. All right, guys, let's have some breakfast. Now that all the babies are eating grain, it's like an ad house. We have, I have added a third skewer for them because the babies are eating so much grain that way everybody gets an opportunity. Again, this is more of a snack. It's not really nutritionally super important for the moms, but it is really super important for those babies to get all of that, given how good our grass is right now. The mamas are doing fine with just, with just grass. Their rumens are really full, which has been really nice. But just trying to do our best for him. It is so muddy still. I'm hoping I'm gonna go mow and he's gonna do weed eating and fraying and all that stuff. It will be nice, hopefully, that next year will be less to maintain. See how it goes. Good morning, Pega Wiggle. Tuna, you've been doing good about not knocking the gate in the morning. That's a good girl. Good girl. to mow this yesterday but it's still just really muddy and wet and when I was mowing that I was rutting up in a couple of spots so maybe next week they have a different kind of grass in there and we totally different than what's out here which is very funny we may try here before long letting them all five out in this big area because I do think the um, feeders blocking did work keeping Bean out and that would kind of give me a hint at Zelda and Pixie if they go back into heat. Uh, it's been a little bit harder to tell because I can't run over here and scream at the boys. Pixie's usually pretty loud so it's usually not super hard to tell with her. All right are you guys ready to go out for the day? Are you ready? Come out with me. Doesn't look that way. You're not impressed by being let out here anymore. It's before nine, so for a Sunday, it's actually pretty early for us to be out here. He's usually gone doing whatever he's doing by about nine o'clock, but I tend to clean the house on Sundays before I come out. Probably just do that when we get back. Yeah, they're not coming. Come on, girls. 
I think they're just so happy that it's not raining. They don't really care. What are y'all doing? We got the cat out up there with them. Yeah. All right, girls. Have a nice day. Mama, we'll see you this afternoon. See you, Will. I mowed front and he couldn't do a couple of the things that he really wanted to because it is really wet over here. Something that I think we always struggled with when we lived here. It's just water. Granted, it's been raining for a week, but it just doesn't drain. So he's gonna finish up mowing. I'm gonna go back to the house, but I thought I would let you guys see these calves that are now monstrosities. They're getting big out here this morning. This is a bull that's over here. So don't particularly want to walk in with the bull. They had to, I don't know that I've been out here since then, they ran hot wire the, around the entire edge of the property because this fence just, they just destroyed it. So they've got the two string that keeps the cows in. People would just have to stay here, guys. It's long and swampy, but See if I can go over here. Maybe you can get a look at how big these babies are. Calves grow so fast. Let's see if we can find Chief. Oh, I bet that's him over there. There they are. They've all gotten really big. Freddie's swimming. Chief's over here. I don't know. He's, he's this one. Standing by himself, this, this cow, bull. He's huge. Let's see if I can walk in through this gate. We can get a, a little closer view of them. I just really don't wanna go put my overalls on and the grass is really tall. And this time of year, you just don't know what's hanging out in the grass. Without the cats here and the dog. If you're new, this is our old property. This is where we used to live. We moved at Christmas, like the day after Christmas to our new house. And these are our cows. My parents live in this house now and the cows are gonna stay here until this fall when the calves are ready to go. And then we'll sell the entire herd of cows. There's 20 acres on this property, more than enough for cattle. Our new place is only five acres and the neighborhood is not big on cattle. Look how big these babies are. Look how big you guys are. I don't know how everybody's feeling about people today. I'm just taking it easy. I don't want bulls to get excited. Everybody should be bred back. All these guys are two, three months old. But like you can see that mama cow, it's not interested in me. Here's everybody. They're all doing really great. Chief's way back there. And just, they don't look comfortable, so I'm not gonna go walk through the middle of them today. They may just be curious and hungry, but I don't know if this is a cow that I'm friends with or not. Here's your update. Look how pretty they all are. Chief is coming. I'm gonna step back and see if we can get a good look at him. He's back here. It's kind of hard for me to see. So he's walking toward us. This is Chief. For you guys who've been around, he's very manly. Very manly. My Chiefaroni. And you can see he's a good bit bigger than the rest of the calves. All right, guys. So you have a nice day. It's nice to see everybody. Okay, so Toot Toot and Toffee's mom is coming to get them. A little bit more sad than I was prepared for. So we've got to run them up into the barn. I've obviously, 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 obviously already had a shower. It's like five o'clock. 
Um, they're gonna be here in about a half hour. So we'll kind of go check on everybody and see if I can get everybody to come back up. And we'll lock them in a pen in here for a little bit until they get there. I think the pigs dumped all the water out of their pool again. It looks like they turned this bucket over. Hi, Tinker. <laughs> you guys just hanging out? It is hot, guys. This is the first day where you walk out, walk outside and it's like really warm. It's over 80, it's a little muggy. They've all been out here most of the day. Yes, ma'am. She's mad about it. I don't know what she's mad about. Be sad to see this one go. Hmm, is your baby leaving today? Come on, tooters. Your new mommy's coming to pick you up. Yeah. You and Toffee, at least you guys are going together. Yeah, at least you're going together. Yeah. To figure out how to get them to all come to the barn. They're not interested in me. They know that I'm not gonna feed them, so they're just out here. We've got about 30 minutes. It won't be 5.30. You can let them hang out for a minute. And we'll still have seven baby goats here, guys. It's shady and cool out here. It's why they're all down here. But mm, what are we going to do without our tweet girl? Hmm? What are we going to do without her? Mm. It's so good. It's so good. You are. Mama's going to miss you. It's gonna be a little bit harder. Come on, let's go. I just said let's go and they all came. Just come on. Oh goodness. Tutu and I had a little last last snuggle session. I'm gonna miss that goat. I normally don't care when these babies go. I mean not like don't care, but it's normally not that hard. She and I have definitely bonded. Come on guys. But I do think there will be some new members to the honey farm soon, so stay tuned for that. Part of the reason that I'm not keeping any babies this year is because I do want to add some things, and I can't really add another goat out of the baby goats and add maybe the new things that I would like to. So we'll talk about that. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do is just put to toffee and toot toot in this little pen. If we can get them. Probably won't be super easy. easiest way. So many flies in here today. Still. I'm gonna have to do a second round of fly spray. Yeah. So they're gonna be upset here for a minute because they're locked up. They won't be in here probably another 15 minutes. So. And bye guys. We love you. All the people are gonna miss you. Your mamas will probably be excited that you're gone. But we love you. Yes. You should be happy in your new home. It's okay. It's okay. You see Bunny. Bunny's like, I don't give a crap. Cece, on the other hand, always very partial to her baby. All right, guys. It'll be all right. It's bedtime. The girls left went to their new home hopefully i'm gonna go watch the county fair this year so whenever they start to show these two hopefully i'll be able to go and see them i guess they'll show them this year maybe i don't know we'll go and see them 
the pigs are gonna come out. They have drained all the water out of their pool. They both got in it earlier and spilled it all out. Yes, you did, you guys are all muddy. Come on, babes, let's go. And it's gonna rain Tuesday through Friday again this week. I know, I know. We need to get a look at her. I saw him trying to mount her earlier. Come on, come on, poor chap. This is not good. This is not gonna work. Okay. All right, good night, Piggle Wiggles. You're just chasing me. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. I didn't bring any food. I didn't bring any food. It's bedtime. Yes, it's bedtime for piggies. All right, night, night. Night, night, Piggle Wiggles. I don't like that. Last year, their pool sat on concrete. <laughs> It was also level, and see now the water's just running downhill and it's just creating like a big mud spot. I have to rethink that. They still need the pool to stay cool, but we may need to put it in, just put it in a different spot. The mamas are fine. Nobody seems upset. The girls actually did really good. They loaded up and didn't cry or scream or anything. It's sad that they're leaving, but they're going to a good home. Here before long, we'll have to move Milo over in with the boys and let him wean. He'll be 10 weeks, so he and Coco will be 10 weeks next week. We'll move them, get them weaned, and then um, I am gonna wean Boone and Crockett for a week before their mom comes to pick them up. And we probably won't wean Tiny. We'll let her stay with mom as long as possible, but we will also wean uh, her knucklehead brothers. Here before long and they'll just all go in the butt pen together that's how i've done that in the past last year i had a separate weaning pen and it worked out really nice but this year i don't have the setup for that what my hope is is to find a portable shelter for the this side over here i want to do a porta pig hut and then i'll have a portable shelter for pigs and then i could also wean babies in the pig pen, have the pigs in here, it would just work out. Having a third pen is always nice, but this year all the babies will just go in with the bucks for a few weeks until we get them gone. I think that's the easiest way to do it. We could also pull Pepper or Link and put them back in with the pigs and put all the boys in with the pigs. I do like to have another adult goat when they're in with the pigs just to help babies like get used to like okay we're gonna stay out of the pig's way we'll be able to eat our own food it's just always good for them to have another adult goat kind of show them the ropes everybody looks good mamas don't look upset i'll probably milk tomorrow night because i typically only milk once a day don't milk twice a day and we'll see if it's even worth milking them there's a good possibility that at 11 weeks in their capacity is gonna be so low that it won't necessarily be worth my time to milk them, but it will be when I have, like Twiz and Poppy are gonna be my two heaviest producers by far. So we'll see, I did worm Bunny today, and so I won't be able to use her milk, the pigs will just get it. We'll just hand milk them and see. Hi, babies. Hi, giraffe. How are you? Are you good? Mm. Nana has Coco. Your third one's over there, Twizzy. CC, no toffers. Selly, Bunny's outside. She doesn't have toffee. Poppy's got her too. Is that everybody? Milo. There's Milo, and Padme was outside with buns. All right, guys, it's night-night time. Mom with Dee in the morning.